Hey guys, video game tutorial here. Are you one of those people that has to have scripts all the time to even make their game function in the first place? See here how it's a very big map, but then you're really used to it being like this script, 0.08, whatever. Or maybe you have one of these spicy boys, you know? But then you hate manually pressing it every single time you log in. There is a better way. You can just do it automatically to make the script into an add-on. Right, and then here is how you do it. So, first up you want to go into your World of Warcraft folder, and you click click on Retail, then you go to Interface. Now here, let's make the add-on that runs the map script, okay? Um, so what you do first is make an old folder. You can name the folder literally whatever, maybe something with a map so you remember it, but let's just name it like Spicy Meat Ball for fun. So inside here, you want to make two text files. And then you want to name the first one the same name as this, so spicy meatball. And then it needs to be a .lua file. Very cool. Make sure that the type actually has changed. Very important, because it maybe it's like a .lua .text. Like, it needs to be a Lua file. And then same thing here. Spicy meatball dot oopsie days. Dot talk. Same thing here. Make sure it's actually a talk in a Lua file before you continue. So inside the Lua file here, you can type in all of the scripts you have. So this is what I have, for example. But let's so you remove the run. Very important. Note that this only works with slash run and slash scripts. So if you have these two, you have them in macros, you can make them into add-ons. Let's just put in the other one for fun as well. It's like... And then we just remove the run part. Cool. Nice. Then you can close this one. So now we have the Lua file, right? Here's the Lua file. And then the talk file, this is the file that like tells the game to open up the Lua file. So inside the talk file here, you want it first to be title and then the name of the file. So spicy meatball. <laughs> this is also what's going to show up in your, uh, your add-on folder. So that's good to know. And then you want to type in the file that you want to open up. So in this case, it's spicy meatball dot lua right there you go and you're done you have now made an add-on i'm very proud of you okay now all you have to do put your spicy meatball into the add-on folder Ta-da! it it's fixed allow me to demonstrate <laughs> do slash reload over here and then uh should go into our we're out on folder and we should have a spicy meatball here. Oh my god. And just in case you want proof that it's working. Let me disable. Because this was the script that I used to have before for the healing number. And then the map one. Make map smaller. But now we have a spicy meatball instead. So let me show you how it looks without the spicy meatball. You're gonna see. It's an enormous fucking map on my t television screen. And also, you know what I'm in stealth? Like, you can see the healing. This is, like, very annoying. I hate this number. I want it to die. You go to add-ons here, and then you activate your spicy meatball. You uh, reload your UI. Bada-bing, bada-boom. The map is smaller, and then you don't see that annoying number anymore. Very cool. I Okay, thank you for watching the tutorial. Okay, peace out. Love you guys. Uh, bye.